Good day, my fellow math teachers, and welcome back to Clothesline Math in the Classroom. I'm Chris Short, Math Projects Journal, and let's do some more solving of equations on the clothesline. What we're going to do today is two-step equations. I'm going to tackle 3x plus 5 equals 17. I want to share with you that I just recently did this particular equation on the clothesline in an SDC, special day class. Um, that's a pull-out class, five autistic students, 32 kids, crazy what they're doing to this poor teacher and those kids. But, um, but it went, with that said, very, very well. Uh, Todd Hoskins, shout out to you, teacher of that class, great friend of mine, um, an outstanding man and teacher and doing some great things with those kids and a lot of work with the clothesline. So let's show you what we did with his kids in that class. We set out to solve, excuse me, this equation, like we said, 3x plus 5 equals 17. So the students are drawing on their whiteboards a um, number line, and then we ask them to place, according to what I'm going to do here, 3x plus 5, and then we're going to set it equal to 17. Now we do that once again by showing with the clothespin equivalency. So those are equal. Now, it doesn't help us too much because we don't know what 17 is until we get the units. So we're going to need 0 and 1. So I'll place those for the kids. Now one of two things that we can do here. We can either try to get this 1 to be 1 17th of this entire piece, or I can set my unit 1 and then count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You guys get the picture? Okay. And so we have that here, and we're now looking at 3x plus 5 is 17, and here's my 0 and 1. By the way, you do need to monitor the room. The kids will place it, but they get very lazy at first about doing the spacing. And you want to make it a point that on the whiteboard, if they drew it too close, they can erase it and move it. We place, put things in order, and then space, deal with the proportionality. So now that that's there, for the sake of our conversation today, I'm going to scooch these just a bit. All right. And so now from there, we check the room and we see where everybody's at. I see that we have 3x plus 5 equals 17, and now we're going for this. So I ask everybody on their boards to go and place this, and then I'll choose this with one group, place it here. As we've shared before, oftentimes the kids are going to do this because it says 3x plus 5. So, it, so I need to take 3x and I need to add to it. And so what they're not getting is we're not adding the 3x to something. We're starting with the 3x and adding 5. So this is where I'm going to be after I add the 5 to the 3x. So where must the 3x start? so that I add the 5. So I placed it correctly now, it's on this side. And you have that conversation. Let everybody do it, take the vote, see who thinks it should be here, how many believe it should be here, have that conversation, have the values. It's one of our mathematical practices, right? Critique the reasoning of others, make your conjectures, and then let's, let's discuss this. It's one of the strongest points of the clothesline. Uh, is it spaced correctly? It's placed, is it spaced? Here's my one. Three, and then I'm going to go from 3x plus 5, i got to count backwards 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now I have my 3x. Now from there, the logical piece is, and I intentionally do this, where do these guys go? All right, so where does the x and the 2x go? Rather than just simply the x, the 2x helps them because they're going to see that this needs to be divided proportionally. I'm going to place first, place first, and then proportionally, one, two, oh my, pretty close. One, two, three, let's see what we got here. One, two, three spots there. So now I see that I have 1x, 2x, 3x, and then plus 5. And the question then is, what is x? Let's work our way backwards. We had 3x plus 5, 17. We went to 3x. Class, what would this number be? I want you to write that on your clothesline. Hold up your boards, please, class. Let me see. Oh, very good. So you guys all started at 17, counted backwards 5. And what we now have, 
always have a marker and a blank tent ready so that you can go and show equivalency again. And we get 12. Well, if this is 12 minus 5, and now I want to break this 3x up into three equal portions. You guys got it. Most of the kids are already there. A whole SDC class, special day, special ed, resource kids. Kids that people would say are not capable with this kind of reasoning, and yet we had it. Now, this is the conceptual side, the critical thinking side. We're doing both at the same time, conceptual understanding, critical thinking, now the procedure. And so, let me see if I got this straight, guys. What was the first thing we did? What was it? Oh, we started here, we counted backwards five. And we got to three X equals 12. I know, math bitches. And then you go, and you took the 12 and you chopped it up into three equal portions, knowing that each of those portions is four. My algebra students, very proud of you. We just solved a two-step equation on the clothesline.